friends, it's Mary from A Permention Thoughts, and I wanted to shop, stop by today and show you one of my favorite recipes, um, something that was one of the first recipes I really learned how to do, and that is a derby pie. Um, my mom passed on this recipe to me. She got it from a friend many, many years ago, and oh gosh, probably eight or ten years ago she passed it on to me, and despite being terrible at cooking, it's actually one that I can pass off, and that is really tasty. Uh, but it is a very delicious recipe and one I make every derby week, which is the first full week in May. In this video, I'm going to be making two derby pies because I always double the recipe. The pies, uh, crusts that I get in the freezer section come to, to a container and I always just make two. I usually give one um, to my friends that I used to work with who loved it when I made it when I worked there and um, we keep the rest and split it up among the family. So <laughs> this is, I, I usually make at least two. Sometimes I've made as many as four, depending on where we're going that, that week, but um, this week I am making two. And um, these are the ingredients you'll need to make it. You need all-purpose flour, sugar, vanilla extract, semi-sweet chocolate baking chips, butter, walnuts or pecans, and eggs and then also the two um, deep dish pie pie shells that you get in the freezer the exact ratios will be in um, my link on my blog uh, for this recipe but I just wanted to show you how simple it is so even if you think you're a terrible cook like I am uh, this is something simple that you can make a fun dessert so I have my oven preheating to 350 and I'm gonna go ahead and put a double batch of this together and um, then I'll be back to show you when I'm sort of getting ready to put everything in the oven. say um, a mixer is definitely easier but this uh, is doable <laughs> by hand as you see um, it's definitely not impossible or even challenging I would say this is definitely one of my favorite things to make and eat <laughs> um, there's a reason I only make it about once a year uh, I could easily work through a whole pie um, in a week by myself <laughs> uh, so uh, I try to ration it and only enjoy it a little bit uh, each year but um, my favorite way to eat this is to take a slice and to heat it up just a little bit so that the chocolate chips in the pie um, get a little melty again it's so so delicious <laughs> so then you just add the nuts and the chips and um, put those in and then you just add your vanilla and as I'm sure you can see, um, I can be an exact measure if I need to be, but if I don't need to be, um, it is not something that I worry about, and I don't need to be in this recipe at all. <laughs> um, if you put a little extra vanilla in it, it's okay. Okay, so once everything is in, um, then what we're going to do is just pour it into the baking shells, and um, I, like I said, I have a double batch here, so I'm just going to pour it evenly into um, the pie shells. Okay, I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a pie crust that I highly suggest. I do go ahead and get the deep dish. Um, I, I got the regular a couple of times and um, it just felt like it was coming out of it. <laughs> uh, so I get the deep dish if possible and just whichever is cheaper. I did use walnut, I think they were called pieces this time. Um, and it looks like they distributed a little bit more than normal, um, making it thicker. <laughs> Normally this just kind of pours in and is kind of soupy, um, but this is definitely thicker than normal. I think it's going to taste just fine, maybe even better. I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, but <laughs> if yours has chunks or pieces and you're wondering if it's correct, it probably is <laughs> um, because I'm always a little concerned at how soupy it looks, but it always cooks up great. <laughs> Particularly when I'm doing two, I put them on a pie tin in case I have had them sort of slosh out. My oven is a little off balance, um, 
and it's easier to get them out. So definitely suggest putting it on a baking sheet to put it in. So you're gonna cook it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. And if you're anything like me, being a terrible cook, um, the specifications given to me were it looks just until the center only jiggles a little bit so it's set um, that to me as a terrible cook that's a terrible description um, so I just kind of play it by ear and kind of make sure it looks mostly set um, it is sort of a runny pie typically um, it's great dry too but typically it looks sort of more like a runny pie to me when I cut it <laughs> um, but it does have a nice golden crust and I just try to find that balance in there so I'm gonna show you my pies when they're all done um, but for now they're in the oven Okay friends, so here they are fresh out of the oven. You see they have this beautiful golden crust um, and that is one of the ways you'll know it's done. I also shook it, they don't jiggle. Um, so these are Derby pies and um, I hope you try this recipe. Uh, if you, even if you miss Derby week this week, I know I'm getting it out a little bit late. Um, even if you miss Derby week, you should still give this recipe a try because it's so, so delicious. If you give it Give it a try, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think about it. If you'd like to see more recipes that if I can do it, anyone can do it, um, <laughs> please subscribe um, because I will have more of my recipes up like this in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.